Nothing's gonna ruin your holiday plans more than getting sick or injured when traveling. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to keep yourself safe from dog bites when traveling and what to do if bitten by a dog. In addition to these travel tips, I'll share my personal experience of being attacked by a dog in Honduras. Hi, it's Jay here from Fuck It List Travelers and it is currently seven days since I was bitten by a dog in Honduras. So I'm recovering well, um, but yeah, I've, I had to be on two lots of antibiotics as well as antibiotic sprays and cream. So yeah, it was a bit involved in getting treated, but it, it wasn't a serious bite. I was actually bitten by the dog that belonged to the hostel that I was staying at. I just walked through the gate after staying there for a night and the dog, there were a few dogs and they just rushed at me. Um, one of them bit me through my jeans. The jeans were unscathed, but my leg was not. So one of the canines managed to make an incision in my leg um, and it was bleeding um, when I looked under the jeans. I guess that was a blessing and a curse. It was frustrating that I was attacked in somewhere that I thought was safe but at least I knew the history of the dog and was able to find out whether it had had its rabies shots which is very important given that if you do catch rabies and it isn't treated straight away then there's a very high chance of you dying. Thankfully the owner of the dogs was able to pull them away before I sustained any further injuries and I was able to get myself away from them and to a safe place where I could elevate my leg and check for injuries. I followed the first aid ricer um, procedure of rest, ice, compression, elevation and referral. Uh, the referral part of it, I waited until the next day to go to the doctor. If you're in the same situation, I'd encourage you to see a doctor because after some thorough googling, I found that there's a lot of dangers with dog bites, um, especially because their saliva um, contains a lot of nasties that can make your wound infected. I'd recommend these things to keep yourself safe from dog bites while traveling. First of all, make sure all your injections are up to date while traveling. Uh, tetanus is a particular one to think about um, and as well as that, you might want to talk to your medical professional about getting rabies shots, especially if you're traveling to an area that has a lot of stray dogs. Uh, secondly, you might want to consider taking a first aid kit with you while you're traveling, um, which includes some antiseptic creams and gauze and a breathable compression bandage um, in particular. Uh, those things I did not have on me. Um, thankfully, there were other travelers that did have those things and there was ice at the hotel as well, which was uh, quite useful for um, preventing swelling. Uh, but if you carry those things on you yourself, then you'll be sure to uh, minimize the chances of being stranded. You'll want to clean the wound as soon as possible with clean water and with soap. Once you've cleaned the wound, you'll want to put antiseptic cream on it and then dress it with gauze and a compression bandage and keep it iced and elevated until you can get to the doctor. If possible, get the medical history of the dog, including whether it's up to date with its injections, particularly for rabies, and monitor the dog to see if it's displaying signs of rabies, noting that rabies can be asymptomatic. In my case, the dogs came at me before I had a chance to think and react. Uh, but if you do have a chance to react before they get to you, then keep calm, keep still, and don't look them in the eye. You want to get to the doctor as soon as possible and ideally within the first 24 hours of being given. 
the doctor will be able to tell you what you need to do from there, um, depending on the circumstances of the bite and the seriousness of the wound. I was put on antibiotics, two, two different sets of antibiotics, as well as an antiseptic spray and an antiseptic cream, and I've just come off the antibiotics. Oral antibiotics are pretty much always prescribed for dog bites due to the dirty nature of the wound and sometimes for a prolonged period. I had to look after the wound, particularly for the first seven days after the bite, uh, which meant no swimming and just keeping the wound clean and looked after. So my wound's been healing up nicely and I haven't experienced any real pain or anything like that. So everything's been fine and the wound's been managed well. Remember, prevention is much better than cure. So before your trip, make sure your injections are up to date and bring a first aid kit with you. Try to keep a safe distance between yourself and unfamiliar dogs. And if an aggressive dog approaches you, keep calm, keep still, and don't look it in the eye. If you do get bitten, remember your first aid after dog bites. Clean the wound as soon as possible with soap and clean water. Put antiseptic cream on the wound and dress it. Follow the RISA procedure of rest, ice, compression, elevation, and referral. If possible, get the medical history of the dog that attacked you. Get yourself to a doctor as soon as possible and ideally within the first 24 hours. Change the wound daily and monitor the wound and yourself and get yourself to a doctor if anything gets worse. Hopefully you won't get yourself into the same situation as I got myself into, but if you do, I hope that this advice will come in handy. But remember to always take the advice of your doctor and make sure that your uh, vaccinations are up to date. I hope this video has given you some useful information on how to survive a dog attack and how to treat a dog bite. And if you liked it, please give it a like and leave a comment in the comments section down below. I'm Jay from Bucket List Travellers signing off. See you next time.